الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علنبی ان محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احبت في الله when we look at the climate of hate that we live in around the world and here being in America we see the bold newly arisen extremism of white extremism white supremacy that it's had a bold revival and we see a similar hatred from even some of the most extremists of the Tekfiris that you can make a comparison between Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi or his movement Daesh or ISIS or other Tekfiri groups that really you see they have really no goal even though they claim they claim to support the Sharia they claim this they claim that but in fact the goal of their movement is a type of supremacy and hatred which is built upon hatred because you see that the only fruits that they leave from their works so to speak is death destruction and blood is rotten is failed that is not supported by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we see the end result of a lot of these wicked groups likewise the extremism of white supremacists and I single out white supremacists because they tend to be the most uh, they are the violent ones even when you have black nationalism and black thing be possibly because they're minority movements we don't know of any lynchings we don't know of any uh, the, the, t- the level of hatred and the level of evil and violence and disregard for, for life that we see with those other movements. And when it comes to racial extremism in its various forms, whether it be violent, whether it be internal, unfortunately what we experience in the Muslim community, all the, in fact, uh, racism that we deal with, sometimes bordering on hatred. In fact, bordering, in fact, hate, sometimes pure hatred, especially when you travel in many Muslim countries and you see sometimes the way they hate one another. And they're Muslim. And they're both supposed to be Muslim. Some they hate for this color of the skin. They, the Arabs, some of the Arabs, they hate black, even though there's so many black Arabs. And they won't marry one another. And they will speak evil quickly about one another and even go to violent extremes if necessary. And likewise, whether that be in India and Pakistan, or many other nations around the world, you see how much hatred there is, and this is between the Muslims. So this is a disgusting, wicked behavior and attribute which resembles the shaitan khalis. It resembles the shaitan because the shaitan was asked by Allah wa ta'ala فَاسْجُرُوا لِآدَمْ فَسَجِدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسِ أَبَا وَاسْتَكْبَرَ وَكَانَ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah He said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the malaika and Iblis was in this gathering فَاسْجُرُوا لِآدَمْ You know, make sujood to Adam alayhi salatu wasalam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered this, this is a command أَسَّمِي وَطَعَ Hear it, we hear and obey this is the command, this is the affair of the mu'min. فَسَجِدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيس All the malaika, they prostrated before Adam, alayhi salatu wasalam, the father of all mankind, black, white, Chinese, Asian, of the various persuasions, everything. He is the father of, uh, he is, we are all dhriya to Bani Adam. We're all children of Bani Adam. No matter the races, the, the colors, the shades, the, the slanting of our eyes, the roundness of our eyes, the largeness of our noses and lips, our ears, whatever. 
all of us dhurriya to Bani Adam. فَسَجِدُوا إِلَيْهِ Iblis. So, they all prostrated before Allah Tabaraka Ta'ala, إِلَّا Iblis, except Iblis, except the shaitan, who is a jinn. And this was done out of arrogance. How do we know that this was arrogance? So that look at this, this major, major sin, which has plagued us throughout history, which shows it so severe because Iblis is the first one who did this evil, wicked sin. But yet we want to follow them and we want to say, Ashadu in la ilaha illallah. We want to follow Iblis. Many of us follow aspects of the Sunnah of Iblis. Sunnah Iblisiya. Sunnah Iblisiya. Meaning we follow the way of Iblis in this affair. So don't say a man can take fear of the Ummah. But understand, in this affair, many of us follow the Sunnah of Iblis. Latnatullahi alayhi. And What is this sunnah that we're referring to? The sunnah of Iblis, Ahabatifillah, is the sunnah of arrogance. Fa'aba was takbar. Iblis, he refused. Who did he refuse? He refused Allah, Tabarak wa Ta'ala. So he knew Allah and he refused Allah. That, that's incomprehensible for us. You know, we, we can't even comprehend that, that someone would be in the presence of Rabbil Alameen and refuse his command. You know, we're disobedient. Adam As the Prophet said, all the children of Adam, they commit sins, and the best of those sinners is those who repent. So we know, but we don't see Allah. We believe in Allah, we see his, uh, his signs like we see now. Women ayati alaylu wa nahar. From his signs is the day and the night. And right now we're in the day. And we see the beauty. With shams wal qamar. Look at the shams. You can't even look at it. And that's min ayatillah. That's from the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we can't imagine being in a situation like that. To this, the level refusing the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wastakbar. And being arrogant. So that shows us from the sunnah of Iblis is refusing the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if someone commands you to good, something from kitab or sunnah, don't refuse it. And definitely don't be arrogant towards it. If you don't believe it to be authentic or you know some other reason, but do not refuse it out of arrogance when you know it's the haqq. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then mentions And verily he was one of the From the disbelievers Subhanallah A kafir that, that, That's a scary Scary attribute to have So it shows us the wickedness The sinfulness Of being arrogant Refusing the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And from those commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Is that we're brothers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Inna mu'minun ikhwa Verily the believers are brothers Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says Kitab al-Kareem Wa'atasimu bihablillahi jameen Wa la tafarraku Hold on all of you steadfast To the rope of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala Wa la tafarraku And do not divide So Allah has commanded us to be brothers Allah has commanded us to To be uh, To be together and not to divide. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Cooperate in righteousness and God fearfulness. And do not cooperate in sinfulness and enmity. 
Subhanallah. And don't you think when you are being tribal, when you're saying, you know, this gathering is only for Pakistanis, this this gathering is only for Kashmiris, this one's only for, uh, 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 you know, uh, Rehamr from Somal, this this one is only for uh, for Oromo, this one is only for Tigray, Tigray. When you have these type of segre segregational gatherings, in which you make top theme of your national identity over Islam at the exclusion of your brothers and sisters in Islam doesn't mean you don't have tribal issues to deal with that's not what we're saying but we're saying when those things go to disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when those things involve racism and arrogance and ignorance and hatred and enmity and they go against ta'awun ala bidr wa taqwa and when they contradict cooperating in righteousness and God fearfulness. That's what we're concerned about. That's what we have to avoid. And that is the, the, the evil that we want to be away from. So we ask Allah wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to protect us from this wicked sin and evil of arrogance and racism and the wickedness of prejudice. The wickedness of prejudice. Why did I say wickedness of prejudice? I mean, it'll be I mean, I said that because, of course, everyone has a, they distinguish, and and they have things which they have a leaning and a, a bias towards, but you don't want those leanings and those preferences to contradict the deen of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, to be, boarding having hatred, and enmity. If they involve hatred and enmity, halas madhmum. If they involve hatred and in enmity, you know, uh, you know, being uh, having hatred for your brothers and sisters, and having uh, hostility, enmity, then this is sinful and wicked, and this is sin. This is what we want to avoid, and we ask Allah Taala, ta the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.